everybody welcome back to my channel and for today's speed build I've done a craftsman style stat home say that 10 times fast I'm not sure if it is a craftsman style uh, I'm not that acquainted with you know American style houses because I'm from England <laughs> where every house kind of looks the same it's either like a red brick house or a cottage unless you're rich and then it's gonna be a bigger style red brick house but apart from that every house kind of looks the same um, I don't know rows kind of look like mazes because every house looks the same and yeah where in America there's like an abundance of styles so much so many different styles and I think that shows a lot in like the Sims 4 worlds because there's so many different styles even in the world it's like the suburban there's the Victorian styles there's the styles in a way so springs like Spanish style homes Windenburg's kind of English to me it is kind of Eng English um, but Brindleton Bay apparently that's like Hamptons New England Again, I'm not sure this is just like from what I've briefly read of people's comments and things. So yeah, today I've got a craftsman style home, hopefully. Not sure how happy I am with it. Like I do really like the outside. I think the outside's cute, but it's also a start home. So, you know, it's not the best. <laughs> like it's, it's not as good as it could be if I had like, I don't know, a hundred thousand small lanes to do, but I do like the outside. The inside was a bit of a struggle, to be honest. I'm not sure. I don't know, there was like a city that I used, well tried to use, which you'll be able to see in, in a minute. I can't see what's on the screen right now. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to use it, like the bay window kind of seats. Couldn't find a way for it to work at all, so I didn't use them. And then just the whole layout I struggled with a bit. I'd probably move the kitchen if I'd done it again, but I just wanted to get this done really fast. Because I haven't had the best week. <laughs> so that is also why i don't have face cam i don't know i've just been feeling a little bit a little bit worse for wear lately so today i've literally i've I got out of bed at half two i'd been up since like 10 o'clock but I, I was just literally in bed i didn't move but usually i spend like I, I leave the house three times a week two times for work one time for uni um and well one of the days is like uni and work mixed together but that, that's by the by that's unnecessary information so yes um and on the nights i usually don't do anything on the nights my boyfriend usually comes around we watch tv i've just bought a jigsaw so sometimes we do the jigsaw and work on that but thursday friday and saturday i think i feel like i done something wednesday too but i don't think i did um i went to my boyfriend's gigs he's in two bands one's just like a cover band kind of thingy where the cover songs and then the other one is their own music both really good um they're called swears actually if you want to check them out on spotify give them some love but yeah so usually i'm inside every night but we went to his gigs so i'm just a bit tired of that and i think my mood's just a little bit down i don't know sunday i was in work i'm usually off sundays sundays is usually like my chill day especially because i was out when uh thursday friday saturday so i really needed the children on sunday but i was at work it was only four hours wasn't too bad um but yeah so i never really felt like i had my chill so for today i literally did not leave the bed till half two as i said <laughs> so i just i couldn't be bothered putting makeup on guys couldn't be bothered doing it and i think that's okay i think we all need them kind of days i've only recorded one video and also just want to say an apology for not putting a video up yesterday and don't get me wrong it's not for lack of trying like the video's done uh well it's not edited because i need to do a voiceover for it uh, but the video's recorded the thumbnails done and everything but i just completely forgot to put it up because usually wednesday thursdays i have off so i don't do it don't do anything on them days so i pre-record like mad on them days so i can get um friday and saturday and sundays done but because i hadn't uploaded it at that point you know where you just kind of think that you have yeah that happened so there was no video yesterday but it was only a creator sim so i don't feel like that was as bad as if it had been like a 30 minute episode of one of my let's plays you know it was gonna be like a two minute creator sim she wasn't even that pretty anyway we can get over it it's all right i've apologized i'm sorry guys i'll do better i'll do better but yeah i don't know i've just been in a bit of a bit of a funk lately i don't know last week i was in a funk about my channel i just didn't have that much confidence with it and now i've hit 625 subscribers at the time of recording this so please don't unsubscribe because <laughs> then that'll be embarrassing when i've said 625 and now i've got like 623 but yes i've hit 600 subscribers which is amazing hopefully we'll hit 700 by christmas that's my goal um but now i'm in just a bit of a more mood with myself i guess than 
than YouTube. I, I, like, I love YouTube. I, I never not loved YouTube, but yeah. You know, I don't know. I feel like everybody gets in these moods, especially girls. So many hormones, so many emotions and things. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not the best that I could be in my head right now. Don't know why. So yeah, didn't feel like doing anything. But work was actually not that bad this weekend. Turns out I can kind of sell, kind of. Not really well, but you know, better than I could have done before. I'm still like one of the worst there. But I sold two VR headsets the other day, on Sunday. Very proud of myself for that. And I was talking to customers, which it. I always get scared that I'm going to look rude, but it's not rude. It's just like autism. It like That's the simplest way I can put it. It's not that I don't want to not talk to you. It's just mainly that I don't know how to. Which is also something on one of the gigs there's like I'm obviously I'm the drummer's boyfriend in the gig and then the lead singer he has a girlfriend and then the bassist he has a girlfriend I'm not sure if yes and the guitarist he has a girlfriend as well which is you know my boyfriend's brother um so yes but the singer's girlfriend I didn't know if she liked me or not because I didn't really speak to her again not because I didn't want to just because I literally didn't know how to but I was talking to her boyfriend and I was like, yeah, um, I didn't want to look rude. Like, I'm always scared people think I'm rude. And he was like, no, trust me. Like, I think she likes you because you, you didn't make a massive effort to talk to her. I was just kind of like nice, if you know what I mean. Because I'm not like rude about it. I'm just like, oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. But yeah, um, I know this is all a bit confusing because listening to somebody else's like friends and stuff, you know, you don't know who's who. So it's all just a bit confusing. But lead singer got a nice girlfriend and then the bassist. He's got a girlfriend and I've heard a lot of stories about her. Um, like she's one of them kind of thing. But she came up to me and she was talking to me and I did have to ask someone who she was just to make sure because she looked a lot different from the first time I'd spoke to her. And I didn't want to be rude and not check who she was kind of thing. Like I didn't do it in front of her. I wasn't like, um, who are you? Like I'd done it discreetly. Um, but yeah, she was talking to me. She was nice actually. And a lot of people have bad things to say about her, I think. But she was nice to me. Apart from the like, not not that this is a reason why I don't like her, because I, I do like her. I think she's nice and whatever. Um, but I was talking about how much I love The Sims, which is an everyday occurrence. I do tell a lot of people that. But yeah, I was telling her how much I love The Sims, and she was like, "Oh my god, yeah, I love The Sims too." And I was like, "Oh my god, really?" And then we were talking about like The Sims theme park, theme park. Is that what it's called? Theme park? No. Rollercoaster Tycoon, that's what, that's what it's called. And then there is, um, oh my god, I've completely gone blank. Theme, no. Theme Hospital, that's where I was getting confused with Theme Park, blah, blah, blah. But yes, Theme Hospital, so we were talking about that and I was like, oh my god, they're like the classic games. And she was like, yeah, I absolutely love The Sims, all The Sims. And I was like, oh wow. And she's like, but I hate the goth family. And I was like, eh, I don't mind them. Like, you know, at least not the pancakes kind of thing. And then I was like, oh, the goth family and the whole, like, Bella going missing situation. And she's like, what? And I was like, mm, I thought you said you liked The Sims. And she's like, oh, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know what that is. And I was just a bit like, mm. everyone who has been playing The Sims for that amount of time knows about the Bella goth situation in The Sims 2. It's like, it's like a TV show, The Sims, isn't it? I wish The Sims 4 had followed the same, like, storyline storytelling kind of thing that the sims 2 did because wow that was amazing i really like i don't know because i think it goes the sims 2 then this no what one does it go no it goes the sims 3 then the sims 1 then the sims 2 i think that's the, like the chronological timeline of it but yeah when she said she didn't know about Gap bella goth i was like i mean i i would ask like to a face i was still like oh <laughs> but in my head i was thinking how 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 do you not how do you not but anyway yeah that's, I think this is going to be our voiceover. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little bit, I don't know, insane in the membrane lately. Just not coping well with life. Very stressed about uni. Uh, ugh, maybe I'll take like a minute D2 and talk about that. I know I'll keep talking about it, but I'm so stressed. I've literally got a 2,500 word assignment to be in in like a week and a half. Haven't started it. I have to pick my own question. Don't know what I'm doing. I've got a marked presentation in January about my dissertation. I still don't even know what I'm doing with my dissertation. I'm supposed to have met up with my tutor about my dissertation like six times already. I don't even have a tutor for it. Oh, I've got a 5,000 word um, assignment to be in April or something. I'll probably have another two 2,500 word assignments due in 
next semester and I've got a 10,000 word dissertation to write so you know I guess what you should take away from this voiceover is that if you don't feel like you can do uni don't do uni <laughs> I mean still do uni like uni's great it's good experience and stuff like that but third year is a lot it's a lot it is a lot and I'm quite academic I'm academically inclined um but I'm not educationally inclined kind of thing I don't board well in education but yes that's gonna be my voiceover <laughs> so stay in education uh if you like it if you don't like it you do you but obviously you know get get your GCSEs first and then do what you want but yes thank you very very much for watching I know this is very all over the place I hope you enjoyed it anyway <laughs> send me well wishes hope I feel better soon and I'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>